This came from Southern California. It, it took almost eight days to travel from about 400 miles away, which would take you know us on a normal trip six to seven hours to get here. Because of its size, it's 105 feet long. The, the, the tank itself is 15 foot in diameter, 18 and a half feet total with, with the, uh, the pertinences on the sides. So a lot of effort for the contractor to haul it here, taking down signs, removing fences, trying to stay off of the well-traveled roadways just to get it here safely. The hydropneumatic search tank essentially acts as almost like a brake or an airbag in a car. So as the water gets, as the pumps get turned on and off, there's a wave of water that gets passed through as the pumps start and stop, and so this tank essentially buffers that as, it, as the water flows through the pipes. It also does that under emergency outages, like when a power failure shuts the system down, but the, the tank itself acts as, as the hydraulic brake for the water flowing in the pipes. So it protects the system during operation. The low lake level pumping station is essentially replaces our existing pumping station capacity. When we installed the uh, third intake and put it in operational in 2015, that allowed us to take water from deeper within the lake. So as the lake levels drop, um, the third intake gave us access to that lower level of water. This pumping station provides the reliability and redundancy for us as the lake level continues to drop, we can still pull that water out of that lake.